Now we are going to solve Protostar stack 3. So stack 3 looks at environment variables and how they can be set and overwrite function pointers stored um, on the stack. Okay. Environment variables. I think they got the wrong text here. So it's basically overwriting a function pointer on the stack. There is no environment variable here. Well, so we have an integer um, pointer, fp. We have a buffer with 64 bytes, um, then fp gets set with 0. We have a gets for the buffer. And if fp is true, we print out the calling function pointer jumping to somewhere where fp is. It's, so they will print out, uh, print out the address of fp and they call fp. And our job is to, to modify fp that we don't jump to fp and do nothing. And we have to jump to win. Um, and print out code flow successfully changed. So how do we do it? Um, we can overflow this buffer again, like in stack zero, uh, st yeah, stack one and stack two. Um, we overflow it and we overflow it exactly to an address now and the address we are overflowing it to is uh, the ad address of win. So how do we do it? Um, I already logged in via SSH to the uh, virtual machine. Now we need to know the um, address of the function win. We can do it with uh, object dump, object dump minus D and then TMP, I'm not TMP, opt, well let's get to the levels first. So CD opt, protostar, bin, Unless there are the levels, so object dump minus d and then stack three. It's a lot of functions. We will grab for a win, and there we have it. Win, and this is the address of the function win. So we will copy it, and what we will do now, we will um, start. Um, writing exploit Python scripts um, because I think it's a bit easier to change and we have more control over it uh, instead of writing the Python script in the in the command line like um, in Stacklab M2. So we will uh, do a new Python script exploit three y. So it First, we will have a padding for the overflow. So something, and then um, we have to. So let's write down what we have to do. So um, first, we have to overflow 64. Oops, 64 bytes. Second, we have to. Um, right address. So this address and third we win. So how do we do it? Um, so let's do the first thing. We have to overflow. So we will do a padding with ace for example and we will overflow like in the last level 64 because the buffer is 64 bytes big so afterwards afterwards we will edit the padding with um, with the address so we have to notice uh, so we have to write the address in in Python again, 
and we do it with this backslash x and then the address, the first two bytes of the address and so on. Um, we have to remember that um, everything is, um, how do we call it, it's uh, a little endian I think, I don't want to be, yeah, little endian, it's little endian, yes. So we have to write the address from behind, so 22, 84, uh, 40, 84, um, 0, 04, 08. So and afterwards you will print out um, padding. So oops. So Let's go again. So let's go again through the script. So we will print out uh, 48 A's, a uh, 64 eights. Uh, afterwards, we print out the address, and then we should jump to win. Um, you know, write the address. Write the address. Win is this? So let's, so let's try it. Um, Python exploit three. This is wrong because I'm stupid. Um, what I did here, my mistake is I wrote 64 bytes and I overwrote it. I have to edit. So now we see 64 A's and afterwards the address, which looks um, a bit odd. How do we combine it with the with the binary? So we will um, let's go first to to the Binary bin. So there are the binaries. Uh, what we do, we will Python our script. We will pipe it into stack three. Calling function pointer, the address of uh, the win function, as you can see here. Code flow successfully changed. So um, the program started at main, uh, initialized everything here gets a buffer, the buffer is 64 plus an address, we call if uh, fp0, fp is 0, we did not change it, we print out calling function pointer to somewhere, um, and this somewhere is an address, and the address, this is the address of the win function, and we call fp, and we jump there. So we did it 